Hello, my name is Adam and I am on the Papercut support team here in Portland, Oregon. Today we're going to go through the process of setting up a standard release station on a Mac. Release stations are used to release print jobs that are being held in a Papercut hold release queue. First, you'll want to have the following to begin. A Mac running Mac OS 10.8 or higher with at least 2 gigabytes of memory and a local area network connection so the release station can communicate with the Papercut application server. The first step is somewhat optional. If you'd like for the release station to log in automatically after being booted up, go ahead and set up a local non-admin user account on the Mac. Then go ahead and set that user to log in automatically via the login options in System Preferences. Now we'll go ahead and set up the user to automatically run the Papercut standard release station on login. There are two ways to do this. First, you can have the release station run off the network shared Papercut directory on the application server. To do this, go to System Preferences, Users and Groups, select the Release Station User Account, click the plus symbol, then navigate to the Papercut application directory. Since I'm on the local machine where Papercut is installed for this demo, I'll just go ahead and look in the applications. Otherwise, you'll need to navigate to the Network Shared folder to find the application server and navigate to the Papercut directory from there. Now that we have found the directory, select the Release folder, then pc-release-mac.command. You'll then want to reboot the system. You can also run the release station by copying the files from the server hosting the application server to the dedicated workstation. These files are located under the same folder, application directory slash release. This runs the release station locally in default mode with default configuration options. The good thing about this is that you can change these options per each release station's configuration file instead of only setting configuration options for all release stations that are running off the server share. Speaking of configuration files, you can change the default configuration by modifying the config.properties file either locally or on the server share. This configuration file has many options that allow you to customize the release station behavior and look. Please see our manual for more info on customization for release stations. You may also want to lock down the dedicated Mac being used as a release station so that users cannot use it for any other purpose. You can do this by using built-in Mac parental controls in System Preferences. Now we can perform the final step in the Papercut Admin Console by enabling the release station support for the pertinent print queues. Go to the Printers tab in the Admin Console, then select the printer that you would like to have print the jobs held for release. On the Printer Details page, check the box next to Enable Hold Release Queue and set the release mode. User means that users can only release their jobs, while Admin slash Manager means that only those with the correct admin rights can release held print jobs. Now it's time to test. Go ahead and send a print job to the hold release queue. You'll then see the print job queue into the release station interface, and that means it's ready for release. Thanks so much for watching, and for more information, visit papercut.com where you'll find helpful articles or send us a question via support.papercut.com. Have a great day.